all of a sudden it just got a bit warmer in the studio hi everyone james robinson here and today i have the pxg set of irons i've got the 0311 and the 0311t now the 0311t is the smaller headed version so it's a lot smaller sleeker looking looks really good behind the golf ball I've just had a warm up with these golf clubs, hit three shots and my initial reaction was shit, these are really really good clubs. Really excited to bring this review to you. So we're going to start with the 0311, this is a slightly bigger more game improvement version if you can call it that. It looks absolutely beautiful. Through the video, these are a lot better looking than me, believe it or not. So I'm going to keep putting on a few little kind of close ups of the clubs, top lines, everything like that. Let's hit some shots and see what the numbers say. Okay, interesting first shot, tiny bit heavy. We're 162 and it's pretty much bang straight, which if I'm hitting a 7 iron between 155, 160, I'm fairly happy with that. I didn't catch that club at all. So let's see if I can get a decent strike on it today. Okay, I got that one a bit better, Jesus Christ. Okay, 175, 175 with the 0311, that's kind of top end of where I'm hitting it. And to be honest, struck it well. I didn't feel like I went after it. Let's go one more with this game improvement club and see how far I can get it out there. I think there might be a 180 in here somewhere. One seven five again, absolutely bang on. So I've hit three shots there with this 0311. It's come out to exactly the same yardage, so if you're looking for consistency, not bad at all. And the one I didn't strike very well was still up there, a pretty decent number. I'm going to jump into the 0311T, which is the smaller headed version. If you look at the screen now to my right hand side, I'm going to show you all the top lines side by side. Something that Bob Parsons has said that he wanted to see in his golf clubs was that the top lines all look very similar. And I'll tell you what, I think they've done a cracking job with that. Let's see what the smaller headed iron's like. So looking down at this club, it looks absolutely beautiful. And like I said before, these irons are a lot better looking than myself. So we're going to have quite a few close-ups on there. This does look stunning. Let's see how it performs. That was really bottomy. Terrible strike. 171. That came out of, you can see this white groove here, the bottom one, pretty much came out of there that one. 171 carry. Might be something in these. That was a little bit better for the left. And again, so the consistency on these golf clubs is just phenomenal. So 171 again. So I'm hitting pretty much exactly the same numbers time after time and I mean to be able to hit clubs the same distance every time and looking at the ball flights you can see that they're a lovely, I mean look at this here, that is a lovely rainbow flight, it's reaching a lovely kind of plateau and a peak and it's going to be dropping really soft onto the green. Let's hit one more with this smaller club. One thing you'll find a lot of is players that are going to be going kind of 0 3 double one in the long irons and then as you get down into the shorter irons, they might be kind of mixing them with these, these smaller heads. Although, I don't know if you'd need to because they all look really, really good. Towie. Yeah, Towie 168. So we've lost a little bit more ball speed there, but still a really good number. Just as another quick insight to you, I've been handed the 0311XF, which stands for Extra Forgiveness, something which the way I'm swinging today might suit me down to the ground. Let's hit a couple with this one and just see the differences between the 0311 and the 0311T, which was the tall version, the smaller head. But anyway, this is where the, the forgiveness and the hot face comes from, or the hot feel from the face comes from. Let's see what this Extra Forgiveness iron's all about. Thermoelastic, it even sounds hot, doesn't it? Decent actually. 176, so that's the furthest so far by one solid yard. We would expect this one to go a little bit further. 
really caught that one nice. 175, so this is something which I'm finding really interesting that whichever club I choose, it is a kind of true yardage. They're all going a similar yardage. Miss hits are going kind of just shy of 170, and when I get them, they're going 175, 176. So that's what I will be looking for out of an iron. I don't want a 7 iron that I can nuke 200 yards, but if I miss it, it goes 160 because that is absolutely pointless, like a chocolate teapot. Let's hit one more with this, and then I'm going to have a bit of a roundup for you. So the XF head's got a much higher MOI, the weighting's further down in the head, and that's what's helping it kind of get that higher ball flight. The forgiveness aspect comes from the thermoelastic polymer that is in the face. I'm going to show you a close-up of a, a cut-open head now. I didn't do this myself because I'm not strong enough and I don't have the equipment to do so. So don't go chopping these open because they're expensive and people won't like it. But anyway, this is where the, the forgiveness and the hot face comes from, or the hot feel from the face comes from. One seven three. Really impressed with these so far. Fantastic golf clubs. Let's have a roundup. First of all, I want to talk about kind of the, the genuineness, if that's a word, genuineness. There, we're going to go with it. The genuineness of the lofts. So kind of 31, 32. They're all around the same ballpark. So when you go into the XF, it's not like 18 degrees of loft for your seven iron. It's not. It's not purely loft driven to get the distance. Yardages with these clubs, absolutely fantastic. Each club's gone a very similar distance for me. The XF obviously went a little bit further, but not a lot. And that's something which I would, I would really be looking for in an iron. I could quite easily split the set and go 0311T low irons, 0311 middle irons, and even, it pays me to say, but 0311 XF, maybe three and four iron, because they are that good. They're really good. Something which I spoke to the, the rep about, these are unlike something I've ever hit before. Yes, the price point is a big issue. If you're in the market for golf clubs and you, you've got kind of unlimited budget or you're not really worried about what you spend and you're wanting the best, by all means, these, these are gonna be something you want to try. If you're in the market for budget golf clubs, they're not gonna be for you. But needless to say, very, very impressed with these golf clubs. I hope you've enjoyed this review. There's a few more PXG reviews coming. Look out for the vlog as well for the day. All my social media links are just at the bottom of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done already, make sure you subscribe. I'm talking to you who is watching and you've watched every video from Australia. I've seen you. I can go on the diagnostics and see who's subscribed and who hasn't. I'm talking to you. Click subscribe. See you soon, guys.